All right, here we are bone fishing in Honolulu, Hawaii with John Bretza and Jeff Robles. So we're just going to see what we can catch today using uh, surface hammer bombs. How about a shock of there, John? We're ready. We're ready to get one. All right. Thank you, sir. This is what we call in Hawaii a papillo, which is a young uh, Jack uh, Trevally. Anything under 10 pounds is known as a papillo. And he hit a, uh, a golden goby, which I'm gonna have to, looks like I'm gonna have to take out later because it's in there. But that's what he looks like. And he's grunting at me right now, so he's not too happy. <laughs> Hammer bombs. Why do I use them? Why do I love hammer bombs? It, let me give you a situation. Let's say you're on a reef, shallow reef, two feet of water. You whip out lead eggs. You're going to get hung up all day long if the depth of water is two feet from where you're standing all the way out. You use these, you're not going to get hung up because there's different types to either float or just barely sink when it hits the water. So you can use hammer bombs. Say for another example, um, there's a reef, you're standing on a reef, and in front of you, about 30 feet out, it drops into a sand channel, pops up again about another 50 feet out, and you know there's fish on the other side. What are you going to do? Are you going to use a lead egg, throw it out, it gets stuck on the other side? No. Just keep this on. You can throw it to the other side, um, in the shallows, go across the deep water, come back to where you're standing, and not get hung up on the reef. This is why Bill Newton made hammer bombs. I love these hammer bombs. These are my loose ones right now because I got a bunch more that are in rigs already all ready to go. And these are just the loose ones I have just laying around. Now the hammer bombs were started by Bill Newton. He's the owner of Ever Beach Buy and Sell Pawn Shop, which is also a fishing supply shop in Ever Beach, Hawaii. His online store, High Fish Gear, H I Fish Gear.com. You can get this from him direct. But every, almost everybody here in Hawaii has a couple of these in their tackle box. And I think virtually every major tackle store also carries them. You know, there was a time when we made our own hammer bombs when we were kids. We'd get golf balls and we'd uh, screw in um, bolts on the top and the bottom. And we'd tie a fishing line to one end and a leader to the other. We used to use that. But these, these are so much better. That was the predecessor. And Bill Newton brought this for us, and he made, I, I would say, a huge dent in the local um, tackle market here. Because not only did he invent these and made every sort of hammer bomb for every occasion, but he also employs local workers, which is great. He's giving back to the community. This is why I buy from him. I use these, and I use these more than other devices. Some of the other devices, let me see here. This one here, okay, that's a tough bubble. You can put water in there and use the tough bubble. I mean, eventually they're gonna crack. Even the tough ones, they will crack, but trust me, uh, I would use, it's just a matter of preference. There's nothing wrong with tough bubbles. I would rather use the hammer bomb over the tough bu bubble any day. Now you got a nice hit. As soon as I toss the bubble out, as soon as I toss the bubble out, within a split second of hitting the water, something attacked it. That has never happened to me before. 
as soon as the bubble hit the water, something splashed and hit hit this, and it's taking off. It's going now. It was on the right. Now it's going to the left. You can see it. Look at fighting the tip. Don't know what it is. Never had that happen where it just hits the water and boom, something takes off. Okay, it's coming in. Let's see what it is. Wow, look at that. It's a peel, but as soon as the thing hit the water, it came in. Wow. Right on. Good morning, Mr. Papillo. You know, these bombs, these beautiful hammer bombs are indestructible. That's why they call it hammer bombs. I spent a day with my good friend, Art Takamiya of Taka Flies. We'll bouncy these things off cliffs and rocks. Couldn't break them. This one here, I ran over my, with my SUV several times. Wouldn't break. These here are my favorites. They're flash bombs. They are flashing, it's just like Christmas tree lights in a, in a ball. They flash and at night they track species. And when the, finally when the batteries give out, you can still use them for the daytime. Okay, the flash bombs have that dot, and you need to align the dot so um, it doesn't accidentally turn on. It will stay off. That was a new renovation that Bill put into these flash bombs. Can't beat the original. The originals come in all sorts of colors from bright yellow to black to white. Uh, they were made just to throw out and sink like a lead egg, and these things really will help you gain. I love these hammer bombs. This one here is called unleaded. The reason why it's called unleaded is because there's no lead in it. And this, when you throw it out, it has a tendency to sink. So when you throw it out, it's going, to boop, 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 boop. it's going to be a very, very slow sink. So you can get into some very shallow reef areas. And these are the glow ones. You just have to hit it with a UV light source and it glows. And these sink also. Stay hooked up. We caught something. We stay hooked up. Not too big, but got something. Yee -hee. Coming in. There he is. Got us up a field. Super. Okay, that is a nice little omilu. We're gonna release it back into the water. There you go. There you go, Doctor. Woo! There he is. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Well done, Bill. The people of Hawaii, thank you for hammer bombs.